a lot has been happening here in the board family which is why I haven't posted in a month you know life is precious it's not guaranteed and things can happen on a whim that takes you away from things that you love like Ken or Scott or filming for you guys but I will get into the weeds and the details I am finally coming to you with I think the most epic release thus far and this is the fall two uh, it's delayed a little bit but i'll explain why let's dive on into it guys in the board family we've had a really really month plus it's been very hard and heartbreaking my mother was rushed to the hospital early one morning over a month ago and was in serious critical condition to the point that she actually couldn't be assisted at our local hospital which is a phenomenal big hospital she actually had to be transferred an hour and change to san francisco to ucsf and i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart i want to thank all the staff nurses and doctors at UCSF Mission Bay for the phenomenal care, for saving my mom's life and allowing family, even in this day and age where other hospitals won't allow you to come and visit. Thank you for that. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, I had to just halt and pause. I pushed that pause button on everything in our personal and professional life and was traveling, oh, about three hours round trip each day while my mom was at UCSF. Some days my brother did take care of, which allowed me to catch on up on like, like the important business matters, but it's been quite a journey. Thankfully, my mother is slowly recovering she came and is living with us never thought you would live with my mother at this point in my life but she is hiding out at our board family farm and is slowly recovering and i turned into caregiver night and day so i'm a little, a little sleepy it's been really hard to rev up those engines to get back to filming but i needed to this is my escape and i love this so much that it's not a burden or a task it truly is my escape my moment to do me have a combo with you guys share and comment on everything kendra scott i just love it so i am going though this video is going to be a little bit different than most because the pieces have already been on the market for a while and I'm trying to catch up I'm behind I am going to kind of like powerhouse through it so I apologize if I am going fast but I also am super exhausted I also have to still attend to my mother so I'm only allowing myself a certain amount of time today and but I want to give my feedback because this was epic and this was the best thus far i think of releases and i know i say that in the past on some but this one is just like the cat's meow this is what we've been waiting for these are the releases that we love and adore and have missed so it was really important that i gave it the homage that it deserves so i usually do two three videos and i'm changing and doing different aesthetics to the video I am just going to continue and powerhouse through it. Then I will separate these videos. And so you're going to see it to be continued. So I just want to tell you so you know what to look forward to when picking these videos. Uh, because with YouTube to upload a really lengthy one takes forever and sometimes it doesn't even take, I have to keep them at a certain time slot. So that is what to be expected in this video. I am grateful to everybody and the well wishes in the groups and on my social media forums who 
heard about the situation in my family. You guys have been so beautiful. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, your thoughts. Some of you have been checking up with me to this day. I really thank you for the true heartwarming concern. That's what I love about this community. It has some of the most incredible, beautiful people, the kindest people I have ever met. So keep being you guys and thank you for enriching my life and my family's life because I just adore each and every one of you, even the new people I meet. I have met so many beautiful people and they're constantly being introduced to more. I just, this is, this is what I love. And it's the brand itself. It's all about family positivity, women, empowerment for the every woman, right? It's not just about a certain type, serpent look. No, 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 no. Kendra Scott is the every day, every occasion, and the every woman. That's correct. So, let's get on to my feedback and showing you what I love the most about this fall collection. Yes, it is the Halloween spirit. I am all fall and ready. So, let's get to it, guys. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know where to start. It was a very large release and just literally, I wanted every piece, financially can't afford it, but literally every piece was phenomenal. I wanna start off with what I just, I, I can't, and I, remember guys, I'm always looking down at the pieces and just and off. I gotta get to the, the main, the main girls here that I just is it's the reason why I live today is this and they finally gave me <laughs> it's like I, I treat the brand like what like they're listening to me <sighs> yeah right I mean come on they may watch and hear some of my things but literally like I have been wanting orange a gate I know it's Aga. I always say a gate tomato tomato and boy did we see that we saw the most beautiful banding in this collection and yes my orange my orange it's mine I'm going to claim rights to it because I've been begging for it for I think a little over a year now in my videos look at that now is it in an earring form and other pieces right now yes but I hope Kendra Scott headquarters hears the calling of this mother's dying wish. Well, I'm not dying, not yet. But my, my ultimate wish of a Harlow, Harla. We need a Harlow. Look at this orange. Oh, now this is the Barkay Ella. So it's not an L, it's not a Danielle, it's that Ella. Back in the day, they had this really cool Ella size. This is also the size that we're seeing come with the new revivals of the Parsons. It's, so remember how I said like the Parsons are a little bit smaller than the 2.0 versions versus yesteryear? Well, this is that size, but look at, I bought two pairs. I could not decide what banding I wanted, so I bought two, two pairs. I couldn't help it. it I mean, this is just, I, I, I'm i God, I just God smacked. I'm God God over it. We have it here in the teal howlite. Look at the veining and the color variations. That's what I adore. You know, I always say we're not perfect people, and so I like things that are not perfect. You know, does some of my signs, my vintage signs have a little rest? Heck yeah, I love that. I love that imperfect look. It's just my kind of jam. So to see just these color var variations, and it's not like this solid, perfect piece of stone in one singular color. No, I love the little imperfections. I love like wood when you have the knots. You know, that kind of stuff just thrills me. I love that. It gives it such depth and character so to see these 
it's just so bananas. Now they did introduce this new stone too, and this is a mauve abalone stone. So it's a dyed abalone shell. And look at, it has such a vibrance and it really has such a color changing effect to it because it's showing you one way here with my ring light, but when you're in the sun or different room lights, it's showing a total like more mauve -y. I, I I mean, I just love the reflections and the color variations that you're getting. It's a very chameleon type of a stone. I know it's a shell technically, but for the sake of this, it's a stone because it's made to be as a stone. But look at this, it's just gorgeous. I also got it, they brought this in, the black banded, and look at this. This is from my personal selection. I already have worn them, I love them. Look at this, look at that. Oh, I just love it. And one of my favorite Harlows is a custom Harlow that is got this really thick white banding on it and it's a black banded agate. And I'll, I'll do a picture here so you guys can see. And see how like it has that thick, thick banding? Love it. So I've been wanting to find earrings that would match. These are great. I'm still looking for that really significant white banding, but these are beautiful and great. I love them. Let me get some of them on for you guys. I'm just gonna pause and go into it. Oh, I totally forgot. See. My head with my mother and everything going on is boop, boop, doop, boop, doop. It's like a ping pong ball. It's just going back and forth, back and forth. So I apologize if it's not smooth and traditional like I normally do. Because I am on probably about two hours of sleep right now. So I forgot to pay a honor to what is adorning me. I have these Anna hoops. They're super, super amazing. Super, super hard to find. I mean, this these are like, whoo! You get it. It's like winning the lottery. It's pretty much the chances of finding them. But I was very thankful. I love them. Lightweight. Oh. And then we have here the smoky quartz eggy. Woo 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 woo. So I was doing more vintage simpler with mama's outfit today but let's get on to wearing some of these delightful new pieces because they are bananas so here i have the gorgeous black banded Woo! and i just love the design on the outside of the frame you know it's that shiva back in the day collection s and then here's these puppies on the card. Look at that. Oh, $78 a pair. I think it's worth it. I think, oh, I don't want to say this because I don't want to encourage them, but I think even if it was $88, I would have bought it too. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Of course, you know, we got black and orange for Halloween. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's get on to the other two and see if those are ones that you want or if you've already purchased and just listening to me for giggles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I almost did a complete party foul and really messed things up with this video. I forgot there was another color. I unboxed, so it's crazy. When this release came out, I was in the hospital ICU ward trying to work with the signal to buy it. And then it came and I literally grabbed the package on my way out to go to San Francisco to see my mother and hang out. I opened up the package <laughs> in her ICU room and in the interim, everything has just gotten kind of mingled up and stuff. It's not as organized as I usually have it for these videos. And because I only have so much time, I really needed to spend time on doing something with this and getting through the video. So when I was grabbing for the next stuff to talk about, I found it. It is the gray agate. 
Now, see, here's the thing. We've already seen this, and it came out recently, but it was in those little tiny, tiny, like, outer shapes of the logo, right? And it was the Mallory, and it was in the studs, etc. So I had mentioned, oh, I want to see it in a bigger form so that way we could see the banding. Now, there has been a grave banded agate Harlow that I've shown you guys in the past, and that's what I would love to have in my collection. So I've, besides the orange, I've also been begging on bended knee for these other stone colors to make a revival. So I was like, oh, I want, I've been telling you guys, gray, 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 orange, orange, orange. Oh my gosh, I would love it again. So when this was coming out, I was super excited because I was like, oh my gosh, is Kirsten's dreams going to come true? Oh, wow, how exciting. I get to have orange and gray at the same release. But the gray, just like what we were seeing with those Mallory's, is it's so light, you can barely even see See, I'm even trying to, you can barely see any banding. And it actually looks oh, like a real cloudy or, you know, we have those beautiful opalites and this seems like a bad repo of opalite. And I'm not trying to diminish the brand or their efforts, but this was not the best version of this stone, I think. I think it needed to be a little bit darker of a gray so that way we can see the banding because that's what we all go gaga for is that banding and just having that beautiful light, dark, just all the array of different colors in the stone. So even though it's orange, you get some that are really light orange with white banding and then some stones even have this really deep, dark orange, almost red S with the lighter orange and oh it's so beautiful so i'm really sad that these are not living up to what our expectation was on this originally or at least my expectations were on this originally so oopsie i almost forgot it but i am not in love with it as much as i am with the other four the other four, this is what's hard, is like I really want all of this, but I can't afford it. I kind of wish that Kendra Scott would have some kind of loyalty program, similar to like if you go shopping at your local grocery store chains, they'll have like those rewards, Starbucks, you know, for every month, you know, as much as you spend, they give you a free drink. Not expecting Kendra Scott to give us free uh, pieces, we already are very blessed with a 50% off on our birthday, and I'm very much appreciative of that. But it would be really cool if we had some kind of loyalty program where it counted the amount of money that we all spend and calculates it, and then if you get to X amount of dollars, we can have 50% off or 40% off. Really something significant so that way we could buy a good chunk. And maybe we can convince headquarters to do something where it's out the total purchase like some kind of coupon code that's a little bit more than 15 or 25 percent just a little like customer appreciation to all of us loyal Kendra Scott people out there that that would be pretty cool especially you know in the hard financial times that we're all dealing with now it would definitely promote us to buy more and keep supporting the brand more I I feel uh, I definitely like those rewards because I, I use those rewards at all those places that I shop at and it just makes me feel value and better about my purchases and my continued patronism or so I don't know something that I just put out there you know back in the day it was like you know you'd have the stamp cards and if you bought 10 you got 20% off your purchase and we're talking back in the day now I know 20% like barely pays for the tax that you have to pay on on the item so all right let's get on I know I have the gift for the gab but I'm just a social butterfly guys so sorry stick with me because we usually get through it all right let's get on to the next so I can't help this 
I had to go look for something and you'll understand why I was looking for it. But look at, this is my other pair that I've been wearing crazily. Look at this. Look at the banding on this. Isn't that just bananas? This is why I'm so excited over this collection. Part of what was included on that was also an L size necklace. Of course I got it. I even got it in the black BA and here it is. Ah! And the orange, I'm looking for the orange as we speak. Okay, so here we have these beautiful, look at this. And it's with that parquet frame and the size of an Elisa, oopsies. Look at that. I just love it. I really, you'll see why I chose to have a multiple of things because they literally brought out so many beautiful pieces that could be layered together with the same stones. And I want to powerhouse through this necklace because I want to layer and show you why I'm just so excited. So here we have that beautiful orange banded agate, agate <laughs> necklace. But then she brought it out in another shape. And the, the crazy collector that I am, of course I had to have it in the, I had to have everything that came in the orange BA had to have it. There was no questions. And uh, my sickness is real. This is a disease. <laughs> I am thoroughly addicted to Kendra Scott. And so I had to get it in different color variations. Please don't tell my husband. <laughs> so we, we saw this other shape that she brought out. Now this does have a matching necklace to it. It is so beautiful it's the cash shape is what we're calling it and we have it in a long necklace look at that and it's very simple it has the adjustable toggles so you can easily adjust the size you want and what i like to do is have it oops that more of ooh, i'm just going to struggle today guys more of a middle length and i'll show you why because you're going to see, I, I mean, we just got blessed. The jewelry gods blessed us. The Kendra Scott gods and angels blessed us on this collection for sure. So I keep this at more of a medium length. So then I have this beautiful Elisa style one and this. But that's not where we end, folks. Because then we got this incredible. Okay, so one is the long long and then the other one's just the long in that brought this beautiful necklace look at this oopsies come on look at that isn't that freaking gorgeous and it has an extender on the back already included so you can have it at different lengths so what i like to do is wear all three of these together now my shirt, now my shirt is kind of hiding so you can't really see it. Even though it goes well, it just blends too much. But I like to wear all three together with those, those Barquet Ella's that I just showed you. Or, now we're getting into this other one, the cast drop earring. Look at that. Look at the orange banding on that. Now this came in the same stones and colors as the Ella's, but this is just so beautiful. Oh, and like I said, you guys have already seen this online. I'm sure that most of you have already purchased majority of what you wanted from the collection. You know the prices, like this cast is $68. I'm not so sure that I'm gonna focus on those details like I normally do. I just really wanna give you guys my review. Look at, and you know, I, I'm a big statement girl, but this is fun. Look at how beautiful this whole collection just 
vibes together. I just adore it so much. The cool thing about this new long necklace is it is a take on an old OG that I have had for a long time in my closet. Uh, I'm looking for it guys, it's down here. I just pulled it out of my closet. And when I did, I saw that other beautiful necklace I want, or earrings I wanted to show you. And it was the JC necklace. And here it is in its original OG form. Very reminiscent. I'm just trying to get it to stay. Look at, here's this OG, right? The JC. And then here's the new. And look at how similar they are. I mean, of course they have their own attributes and little differences, but they are very similar. I just love that she's doing these, like I've said, she has acquired quite the collection of designs. They have been phenomenal on their designs from the beginning. So she has a vault full of OG designs that we all adore. I have always said, you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. You already have the wheels in storage. You just gotta zhoosh them up, put some new tires on them, put a little another uh, paint job on them. Um, bada bing, bada boom. It's gonna carry you all the way again to the next journey. So I love that she is bringing out revivals in a 2.0 version. Sometimes they're, they're bringing it where it's a little bit smaller, but on the lighter side because the older ones were a little bit on the heavier side. Oh, these lightweight. The Ellis, comparable to a Danielle, but these are certainly a nice lightweight option for any of you that need that lightweight earring. And you still get this beautiful pop of color. I mean, even from this distance, you can see it. Again, this earring, this cast earring came in all the same color combinations. I only got a couple of them because as I have previously said, this was a mammoth of a release. So I just got it in the orange BA and this beautiful mauve abalone. And let's just try this on real quick for you girls so that way you can see it. As I said, those orange BAs, my collection. That's why most of the stuff you'll probably see it in orange BA because whatever came in orange BA, I, I just snapped that. That was for me. But here we have it in that beautiful mauve. And like I said, even from a distance, these are popping. It's just that little nice vibrant pop of color that is always desirable for even when you're just catch and you're just like an everyday look beautiful beautiful pops pop 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 like popcorn okay that's the cast i know i'm kind of like drifting but i'm drifting in my own boat today i just want to just get